children nice to meet you once again today our lesson focuses on unit 3 of your grade 10 textbook this is the last one we are going to study for unit 3 today we are going to do a vocabulary lesson let's learn how to use affixes to change the word class and the meaning of words let's start the lesson okay children let me start the lesson explaining what affixes are An affix is a meaningful unit added to the beginning or the end of a root word. It can change the root word's meaning. Now take a look at this. As I told you earlier, an affix is a meaningful unit added to the beginning or the end of a root word. In this example, the root word is comfort. There are two affixes added to this root word. One is added before the root word comfort. It's un. And in, in the other one able is placed after the root word. Children, now the two affixes added to this root word have different names. The affix added before the root word is called a prefix. So in this example, un is a prefix. In the same way, the affix placed after the root word is called a suffix. So here able is a suffix. As the definition for the affixes say, both prefixes and suffixes have meanings. children let's learn more about prefixes now do you know what happens when we add a prefix to a root word when we add a prefix the meaning of the root word changes look at this example when you add the prefix un to the root word happy the meaning changes it becomes the opposite here but as you can see the word class does not change that means Both happy and unhappy are adjectives. Children, this meaning change does not mean that it makes the opposite always. Some prefixes make other changes in the meaning of the root word, although the word class remains same. Word class means whether the word is a noun, verb, adjective, adverb, etc. You can refer to this and learn more about the changes that happen when prefixes are added. As you can see, these four prefixes bring different changes to the meanings of the root word when they are added. Un makes the root word negative and the prefix out develops the meaning. Pre just like in prefix shows before while re in rearrange means again. In the same way to form the negative we can use different prefixes such as miss un ir here are some common prefixes with their meanings you can refer to them whenever you need okay children before we learn more about suffixes let's do an activity using prefixes look at this activity There are five sentences here with blanks. You have to add the correct prefix to the words to complete the sentences. Use the prefixes given in the box. You can pause the video and do it now. Let's see how you have done it. Look at the first one. Devli looked funny in her mismatched skirt and blouse. So you have to write miss in the first blank because it has to be the opposite of matched. Let's go to the second one. Here the word is comfortable. What is the prefix needed? It should be un, uncomfortable. Anne felt uncomfortable at the party because she did not know anyone there. 
Now the third one. The teacher asked Ramsey to rewrite the essay as there were mistakes. That means he had to write it again. Okay, the next one. After Kumar lost his father, his behavior became irregular. Irregular means opposite of regular, not usual. Now the last one. You should interact with others more if you want to improve speaking. The prefix inter means between, among or even together. Hope you could get all these correct. Okay children, now that you are familiar with prefixes, let's learn about suffixes. As we learned at the beginning of this lesson, suffixes are placed after the root word. Let's now see the changes that can happen when we add a suffix. A suffix often transforms a word into a new part of speech. That means when a suffix is added, the word class of the root word changes. Have a look at this example. Here manage which is a verb is changed into management which is a noun when the suffix ment is added. Let's take another example. Here, the suffix less is added to the root word care. So the word care, which can be a noun or a verb, changes into an adjective careless when the suffix less is placed at the end. If you want to know more suffixes and their meanings, you can refer to this. You can also read page 30 and 31 of your textbook too for more information. Now let's do an activity to practice what you have learned. Let's do an exam type question. Look at this activity. Here you have five sentences. Each sentence has a blank. You have to fill in the blanks by using the correct form of the word given within brackets. You have to form the correct word by adding prefixes or suffixes to the root word given within brackets. You can do it now. Let's check your answers now. Read the first one. It is blank, possible to think of a life without technology now. Here you need to fill in the blank with the opposite of the word given. So you have to add a prefix. What is the answer? Yes, it should be impossible. It is impossible to think of a life without technology now. Now the second one. Here also you need a noun. Sigiriya is a great tourist attraction in Sri Lanka. So you have to add the suffix io in to the root word attract to form attraction. Let's check the third one now. Here you have the verb spelled. As two words have not been spelled correctly, you have to fill in the blank with the opposite of spelled. To form the opposite, you need a prefix. Did you guess it correctly? So the new word should be misspelled. You have to add the prefix miss to the root word spelled. I misspelled two words at the dictation test yesterday and got 8 out of 10 marks. Let's move on to the fourth one. Teacher advised Mituni for being blank, care when answering the questions. Here you need an adjective. Teacher advised Mituni for being what? You can form two adjectives here, careful and careless. As the teacher has advised Mithuni, we can guess she is careless. So the answer should be careless. Now the last one. Here you need a noun. Which noun formed using tour is appropriate here? Yes, the answer should be tourist. So you need to add two suffixes. First, IST to form the noun tourist and then the suffix s to form the plural because it should be most of the tourists, not tourist. Ok 
Okay children, that's all for today. In this lesson, we learned how to use suffixes to change the word class and the meaning of words. Hope it was clear. In our next lesson, let's practice listening and speaking. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.